Hey everybody, welcome back to Gooseberry Homestead. Reba here. Oh boy, has it been a day. Um, yesterday. Um, my brain's still stuck on yesterday. Alright, so. Um, people are losing their minds out in society. Just saying. And when you work in a so-called, um, air quotes, essential job. Um... You have to deal with the public quite a bit. And frankly, I really don't feel like going to work tomorrow. I sat down in the middle of my garden out here earlier and I just felt like, I just sat in, in that little spot right there, that little horseshoe area. And I just have this overwhelming feeling I just wanna cry. And um, I've been missing my garden. And, my garden kind of looks like I've been missing it because everything is just going to seed. The grass is super tall. I still haven't been able to find that weed eater. Things are just being neglected in my garden. And I know my kids are going to come out and help me mow the lawn today. So that's good. And so I've been moving things around. But uh, I did spend some time in the garden earlier. And... Um, things are looking good some things um, I did a little bit of pruning on I did some pruning on some of the roses over there uh, some of them had some dead parts on them so I decided to go ahead and clean those up a little bit and then I saw some little surprises um, here and there throughout the garden and um, it's that time of year where I'm gonna be looking for snakes again and we don't have the poisonous ones we got little garter snakes in the yard but um, that's what I'm looking for right now, but I'm not seeing any, so that's good. But right here I've got um, some, uh, I got a rose bush that I started last year from a rose cutting. And I don't know what color this rose is on this um, rose bush. However, we're gonna get lucky. So right here, there is a little tiny itty bitty rose bud forming and I am so excited because like I said I don't know what color this rose is going to be and I'm crossing my fingers you guys crossing my fingers for it to be that's not crossed there we go crossing my fingers that it's a purple rose so that's what I'm hoping for and then I need to plant the tarragon. It's still in the little pot right there. And I still have my lemon thyme, the greener one right there, in a little pot that's above the other pot. So I've got the silver um, uh, lemon thyme and then I got the basic lemon thyme and then I have the little bit more green with the variegated edges. So I've got three different versions of lemon thyme and they all taste really good. In fact, this newer one this one right here tastes really good so I'm really excited about that so and then my variegated oregano right over here has really um, has really just grown a lot this year so I'm really really happy about this I almost killed it so I'm really glad it came back and I've planted more of that out in other parts of my yard um, I did pick up some stevia, um, a little bit bigger ones. I'm going to pinch them and um, get them to bush out a little bit more. And uh, I'm going to plant them in a container here soon. Um, but they're good right there where they are. These are all my elderberries that I have. And I'm going to be um, group potting them together in some of my purple containers that like the roses over here are in and that sort of thing um only because i feel like they need to be in something with a little bit more soil so i'm gonna do companion planting them together um so that they um, take up a little bit less room but also have enough room that their roots can grow a little bit more and they can get a little bit bigger so that's the plan for that and then I did go ahead and I moved um, all the little figgies that were up along the patio, up in this area here. And I did have the elderberries there before. So now I've got 
um, all my little fig trees all up around here that I'm growing from cuttings and some of them I have duplicates of and the ones that I have duplicates of I'm going to be um, either giving away or selling um, here locally to either friends or people in the community and then um, over here I did move a couple of the figs over here and then I was looking over the figs and repositioning them um, my Ronde de Bordeaux that's right here I um, straightened it up a little bit more so that it wasn't like leaning off to the side so I'm liking the growth habit like that and then this other section of the fig tree I'm going to end up um, removing at some point and this will be my main part of the tree so that's what I'm going for all the blue, um, blueberries these aren't blueberries <laughs> these are my blackberries and my raspberries up in this area right here these are doing really good um, I cannot wait for this to start um, ripening this one I think is my double gold that's what I'm hoping it is I'll know here soon soon enough we'll find out if that's exactly what that one is but it's definitely a raspberry and most likely I'm hoping that it is my double gold but we'll find out and carrying on I do have the gooseberries right here and they're getting bigger so hopefully you can see that and then I've got two more on the ones I grew from seed right here one there and one there so those are looking good all the blueberries are looking really good I got a dragonfly in the yard all the blueberries are looking really good um, I am super loaded with um, Patriot blueberries and the legacy is gonna be a new one for this year the berries are just so pretty the coloration on them with the green with um, a hint of the blue coming on they're just really pretty they're starting to ripen up and uh, my Lebanon cedar has gotten so much bigger it's looking so good and I'm just loving it my Lee jujube on jujube is got green as you can see here so exciting and so it's not dead yay I wasn't sure if it was gonna make it or not so I'm really really pleased to see so much green on it this year so what a comeback I got it as a second about this time last year only a couple little green spots on it last year and then this winter when I um, up potted it into this container here it um, basically looked like there was little to no roots um, the root section was the part that had gotten damaged I cut away the damaged section last year pardon the garbage truck <laughs> and so I cut away that um, damage section and that's what you want to do whenever you are um, whenever you have like the root ball area of like your trees or whatever gets damaged like that you just cut away the bad part and if there's enough of um, a root system still there um, more times than not your tree will still survive but um, I don't know if that I think it might weaken it but only time will tell so it's looking good I'm really really happy it just basically looks like a little bare stick but I'm excited. Um, the Lee Jujube is said to be, um, from what I read, if I'm correct, I think it's a self-fertile one. Still will do better with another pollinator. And, um, but I'm, I'm just excited. I'm not expecting fruit at all anytime soon. So I'm not really looking at that. I'm just looking for good, healthy growth. So there's that. Looking good. And then my Patriot is just loaded with berries, you guys. Now all the honey crisps have fallen off of the apple tree. Um, that's okay. This was the first year that it had blossoms. And the first year it tried to set fruit. It's still pretty small. It's about five feet tall. Um, it is in a container up off the ground about just under, just shy of a foot. So it's pretty close to my height. So it's about five foot something. Or just under five foot here. I think I'm still a little bit taller than it um, when it's ground level. 
so and I'm just over five foot like five foot two I I round up you know a, a fourth of an inch so <laughs> there's that um, and then my uh, this blueberry bush is called um, Spartan and it's doing really good it has a lot of new growth down here this year so I'm really excited about that now when you go to prune your blueberry bushes you want to make sure that you are pruning out old branches um, because the new branches will come from down below and so um, anything that grows this year so like all these new branches that are coming in right here all of these branches will actually put out fruit next season so that's where you get your berries they're all on last year's growth so last year these branches um, I did have fruit on them but the tips are where the fruit is so there's that and a prime example of this is my um, pink lemonade all the fruits all at the the ends and the more you go in to the center of the bush the less fruit you will see so it's all at the edges of the plant and so I only have three branches on this one so I'm hoping that I will be able to um, see some new growth from down below this year um, and this is my pink lemonade here and so um, it is starting to change color so it's getting the little pink edges which is really great this one will be a hot pink berry. Just kind of cleaning this one off. I've got some dry berry bits that didn't form. Some of the, there we go, looking good. We still have some blossoms blossoming. And so I'm just really, really looking forward to the bush looking good. Um, blueberries in the Pacific Northwest um, are great. Uh, they do really good in this climate they're a really great bush to add to your garden here um, they don't mind having wet feet especially we get so much rain here so that's really good news and um, you can actually mulch them heavily and bury them down in the ground a little bit further and cover sections so that um, those areas will have the little nodes where more branches will come out and it'll like just you know make it more bushy so I'm gonna be probably burying these a little bit once um, we get to our new property and um, and that sort of thing so that is coming I keep saying we're gonna be moving I've been saying that for the last five years we've been here um, but we will be moving um, I have a feeling it's gonna be sooner than than we anticipate um, and it could be it could be within the next year it could be in the next year and a half but it could be even sooner than that um, only time will tell but uh, we won't be in this space forever and we will definitely be moving forward um, which means I've got a lot of stuff that I've got to do I got to start getting everything ready to move and deciding on what things I really want to keep and that sort of thing so yeah, um, uh, I'm happy for the changes that are soon to come. Anyways, moving on, I've got a lot of really great growth on the Ivan's Beauty Mountain Ash. And I've done a little experiment where um, some of the cuttings that I took of the top of this tree last year, um, I poked them in the ground and those have green on them. They're, the leaves are starting to open up now in a little pot that I have. And I'm really, really surprised. So. I may end up with another tree from this um, tree so um, we'll see how that goes um, something's going on here up at this branch here I want to pull it down so I can take a look see what's going on there is something living in there <laughs> um, but I love the leaves on this Ivan's Beauty Mountain Ash they're just so so pretty it's different than anything else I have in my yard and this was my five dollar rain tree rescue and this is its second year blooming and its second year putting on fruit. So I have a lot more fruit set this year, which is really encouraging. And then this is um, one of my last more established blueberry plants. This is the one I've had the longest. This is the Sharp Blue. This one is a really good blueberry. 
and um, you just want to make sure that you let them the blueberries stay on the blueberry plant just a little bit longer than what you would think um, because I noticed that it has a, a richer um, more flavorful blueberry the longer it's been on the bush so like it'll once it turns blue don't pick it right away give it an extra like three to um, five days of being on your blueberry plant while it's blue and dark dark blue because I've noticed that the flavor just gets that much better um, if you pick, pick it right when it turns blue it um, is a little bit more tart and not as flavorful um, with that being said this was this would probably be one of the blueberries that I would be more than likely willing to just let go of and let it pass on to somebody else only because I am much like our society today which I'm kind of I'm almost like I want instant gratification I want to be able to pick that blueberry the moment it turns hot pink or the moment it turns dark blue I don't want to have to be waiting a week to pick it so <laughs> there's that but it's still such a really good blueberry um, it is one that I'm possibly going to be selling here in the near future and um, I have my favorites, my Pink Lemonade, my Patriot, by far are my two favorite out of this, um, out of my garden. If I were to keep any blueberries from my garden, at this moment in, moment in time, I can definitely say without a shadow of a doubt, it would be my Pink Lemonade and my Patriot blueberry bushes. And then I have yet to taste the Legacy so we'll just have to wait on that one coming into second place so first place i have two for first place pink pink lemonade and patriot second place in my opinion for my taste buds um i'm definitely going to put the spartan right there right there right behind those two and then um we'll have to wait and see how the legacy plays out this year i'm thinking i may go ahead and do like taste reviews on the blueberries and give them ratings this year and um, bring you guys along for that and um, just kind of let you see where I put them and I will come up with some sort of categories and that sort of thing so that's what I'm thinking about doing now speaking of blueberries I do have some in smaller pots over here I have um, right here Jubilee and then this one here I believe is um, the glaze <clears throat> Blueberry, excuse me. <coughs> Spit got stuck in my throat. Sorry. <laughs> Keeping it real, you guys. This one is blueberry. Good night. Blueberry glaze. <clears throat> blueberry glaze. This one here is called um uh oh jelly bean. Oh man, my voice is doing something weird jelly bean here and then I'll also do close-ups of the blueberries when they're ripe for you guys um, this is how they look right now this one is the blueberry glaze it's got a lot of red tint to it and then this one right here is the um, jelly bean and they're not gonna get too much bigger than what you see there but they will um, turn a really pretty blue. These I tried last year and they were really super sweet and I really liked them. That's the only reason why I bought one. Um, this one I bought because of the, the name and um, it's a fam our family name. So that's why I got that one. This one here is um, the pink popcorn um, from, uh, I, I got it from a nursery. You know what, I'm not even gonna tell you guys where I got it anymore. You'll have to go back and find my old videos to find out where I purchased it from. But you can just look up pink popcorn and um, look for nurseries because I am not going to, I'm not gonna say any bad things about it anymore. <laughs> um, I was just really surprised about how cut down they were you know when I got them I did end up getting a replacement plant and it was just in as about the same kind of shape and in fact it's on this side and you can see how far behind it is and there was actually branches that were broken off of it but at that point with getting a replacement already from the um, the company and the fact it took over a month before it even um, 
it before it even shipped and then another three weeks in the mill because of every all the craziness in the world right now with um the pandemic and everything um it took another three weeks and i was really surprised it was even alive when it got to my house so there is that but that's why it's so far back so far behind but i got a lot of new growth a lot of new growth on the pink popcorn i'm excited there is a couple um pink popcorn um berries on this this year just a couple and i'm really surprised about that as well so we'll do a taste testing of that too to see how it tastes although it is probably its first year making blueberries on the small plant I would probably wager to say if it tastes good, it probably will taste even better the following year. Okay, then right here I have another blueberry. I'm wanting to say this one is the peach sorbet. Turn that around. Yep, this one is the peach sorbet. I believe this one goes through uh, different variations of color. And so it'll turn like green to red, then to blue or something like that. And then this one here is um, ju not Jubilee. This one is blue gold. So in the um, fall months, this one will actually, the bark will turn, it's supposed to turn yellow on it. So that's why they call it blue gold. And that's how the berries are looking. So they look, they're, we've got some bigger ones. Um, so that's how they're looking. Then right here is another smaller Patriot. I love the Patriot so much, I wanted to have at least two in my garden. So here's another Patriot. Then right here in this little pot, I've got two. Now I'm probably gonna end up giving one of these to um, a church family member. And this is a pink lemonade because I just think it would be so much fun because they're already growing so many um, fruit trees and fruit bushes and that sort of thing at their house. I really think that they would love this one. So I'm going to be giving this to our um, to our brother Louis and, um, and his wife. And I think that they'll love it. Now this is going to go in her garden. So um, his wife's garden. So uh, that's where all the blueberries are. So I'm guessing since the blueberries are in her garden... That the blueberries are hers but i don't know <laughs> he might claim them he's claiming all the trees and the and that sort of thing so i know she was talking about him not wanting her to prune them but they do need to be pruned back every three to five years on old growth of you know branches because like i was telling you guys on the blueberries over here you will notice that the majority of the fruit is all at the edges of the branches and it's only going to put fruit on that outside branches. And the, the bigger your bush gets and the more it grows out, um, the skinnier those little branches are going to become and the less fruit, it, it won't be able to hold it properly. It'll, it'll just get really like the branches will get really thin so you want to trim out the thin thin branches because then it gets too heavy and your branches can break so um it's good to have the good vigorous growth like on some of those branches that i have like this thick right here is really good this thickness is a really great thickness so that's what i go for i look for branches like that and then i generally will trim out anything that's really skinny um and I don't really have the setup yet for um, propagating blueberry bushes from my favorites. I will wait and do that maybe in the future. Um, but I definitely need to have like a misting system and a greenhouse and a whole setup for all of that, for that to actually happen the right way. So yeah, so Patriot here. And then this one is um, a couple that I grew from seed. And it could be a jelly bean. One could be a jelly bean. One could be um, uh, pink icing, possibly. But the big one in the middle right here is possibly, it was um, labeled American blueberry <laughs> on my seed packet. <laughs> so uh, whatever American blueberry means. So we'll be waiting to see what that one is. And um, in the future, tasting it. But because I grew it from seed, I'm going to be keeping that one for sure. Um, and then we will do a taste test on all of these ones that have blueberries and um, I'll bring you guys along for that uh, you know like I said I'll do up a whole little um, shin um, like lists and we'll just sit down and I will probably be I'll probably focus on one individual plant at a time 
and that video will be just for that one so it won't be super super long but this is how it's looking just being out here is so much better i'm feeling so much better already now um and uh the grass is pretty tall um that needs to be taken care of so hopefully today sometime um before we barbecue this weekend with our family in our own home we we have made a tradition since all of this pandemic i made sure that um, from the very get-go that once a week we barbecue as a family and my allergies are in full force right now so i apologize for you hearing that sniff um <laughs> but i made it mandatory that we would barbecue once a week and therefore once a week you know we come out here we clean up stuff we burn off all the um cardboard and that sort of thing um and slowly but surely everything's getting taken care of now i am really really excited to say that soon my husband will be going um back into um the military um probably as um either national guard or reservist or something like that and um i am really excited because he is going back to the navy side and we started out in the navy and then we did uh, quite a few years quite a few years um with the army and um being somebody who um had been a previous military wife of um you know in the navy and then switching over to then being a military wife in the army I'm just so, so much, so much happier that we are switching back over to the Navy. Um, and uh, not everybody has good feelings about whatever branches they're in. Sometimes, you know, some have great feelings, you know what I mean? Everybody's got different um, life experiences, things that have happened or whatnot. But um, some of my best years was being a Navy wife. And so I cannot wait to be a Navy wife again. And you better believe it. I'm going to have hats that say proud Navy wife, shirts probably, <laughs> all of that. <laughs> but anyways, you guys, i um, going to end this on lightheartedness. Um, my apple trees are looking awesome. Oh, I'm just, I'm just excited for the garden. And my roses are all in full bloom over here. I've got so many roses popping up on all my rose bushes. Um, I started getting rose bushes last year and I absolutely um, love having the roses in the garden. It reminds me of my grandma. My grandmother had rose bushes that she tended to in her garden every year and all the fruit trees and everything. My grandpa pretty much took care of that and um, he, she would say, I want this. He would plant it. He would take care of it and then he would um, collect all the fruit from my grandmother and my grandmother would um, can it all. Um, I'm doing it all. <laughs> My husband likes coming out and enjoying it, but I am um, primarily the person who's doing the growing in this house. And um, it's been a great therapy for me. Um, I suffered from uh, anxiety for quite some time. And my anxiety was due to um, health problems um, that were out of my control. They were just women problems and um it stressed my body out over so many years that um it caused anxiety to manifest in my body and um so now whenever I don't get enough sleep or I don't drink enough water um I will start experiencing anxiety so it's not like environmental really it's more like just making sure that I'm taking taking time to take care of myself and I've been noticing I've been struggling lately with a lot of anxiety and um, it has nothing to do with a pandemic or anything like that or stress over what's going on in the world because I don't live in that kind of fear but I um, I w they've been working me a lot more at work and I've been at work a lot more and um, a lot more than what I was really wanting. I was only wanting like to work two days a week. <coughs> and so I've been working more like um, three to four. I would be happier with only th working three days a week um, at this point. And um, it looks like I'm really happy that our boss did hire some more people. So it looks like um, I will be getting less hours. Um, for me, that's a good thing for some of the other um, 
workers that work with us that's not so good. Um, so I'm saddened about that, but for me, it's a good thing. So anyways, that means I'll be able to be in the garden a little bit more. And now I'll probably, hopefully, after next week, have more time to set up my garden and set up all of the um, drip systems out here. At least just to kind of get it set up um, so I don't have to really do much. And I'm thinking about running the hosing and stuff so that I don't have to um, mow um, around pipes and that sort of thing. So I'm going to try to um, connect things the best I can and uh, we'll see how that goes. Anyways, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and end this video. I'm going to spend some more time in my garden. Um, my fig trees are coming along. I still have some out in the greenhouse. And I'm just excited for being able to eat raspberries and blueberries and that sort of thing out of my garden. You guys, I love you all so much. Um, and thank you for coming along and listening to my video for so long. And... Um, as always, you guys have a wonderful day. Comment, like, and subscribe. Click that bell button. And um, God bless you all. And grow what you love and love what you grow. Bye.